Welcome to Wait Day Hand Suop, Great Minds. I'm Jared Diamond, Professor of Geography at the University of California in Los Angeles. So I've studied history and geography for my whole life, but I'm now concerned with making the Earth sustainable. Uh, what motivated me to concentrate on making the Earth sustainable? It's simple. It was the birth of m my wife's and my twin sons. Um, I became a father late. It was just short of my 50th birthday. Our twin sons were born in the year 1987. And when our sons were born, I realized with a jolt this year, 2050, that people talk about where bad things will happen, the end of the tropical rainforest, I'm not going to be alive in the year 2050. So 2050 felt to me like an unreal year. But when our kids were born, when Max and Joshua were born, I realized with a jolt, my kids are going to be 63 years old then. They'll be at the peak of their lives. Their future is going to depend not on my laboratory research, but it's going to depend upon the state of the world is going to depend upon history and geography. So that was what motivated me to start writing books for the public in order to motivate the public to ensure that the world for my kids will be a good world. Finally, let's talk about the risks that the world faces in the future. I see four big sets of risks for our planet. One is the risk that I already discussed about global inequality. The next risk after global inequality is the one that I'm sure is most on your minds, the risk of the large-scale use of nuclear weapons. That's the risk that can kill the most people in the shortest time. The third of these four big risks is another one that I'm sure you're thinking of, the risk, the consequences of global climate change. Global climate change is due to human burning of fossil fuels and production of greenhouse gases, especially carbon dioxide and methane. The last of the four big risks facing the world, besides inequality and the nuclear risk and climate change, is depletion of essential renewable natural resources, notably forests and fisheries and freshwater and, and soil. Forests, trees produce baby trees, seedlings. Fish produce baby fish. Fresh water, there's rain that produces more fresh water. Soil regenerates itself. As long as we use these renewable natural resources no faster than they are regenerating themselves, then their supplies go on forever. But if we use them faster than they regenerate, then they get depleted and may in fact disappear. People, including I, Jared Diamond, talk about the year 2050 um, as a year, a crisis year. Obviously, 2050 is no more of a crisis year than is 2049 or 2051. Um, I focus on 2050 because the big problems that the world faces, particularly problems of resource depletion, um, are problems that the world can carry on its non-sustainable course for not more than a few decades before we run out of essential resources. And our essential resources, such as forests and fisheries and energy and so on, at the rate we're going now, we can continue for only about a few decades before we run out seriously of those resources. The year, roughly around the year 2050 is then when we will, when these problems will come to a crisis. And either we've solved our problems by 2050 and we go on and have a happy future, or we fail to solve them and we're, we're condemned. It's not that 2050 itself is magical, but this illustrates that we, we have a few decades to get on a sustainable course, and if we don't get on a sustainable course in a few decades, it'll be too late. What happens depends entirely on the choices made by all of you listeners today, and especially by all of you lo younger people. You young people, are the ones who are going to see the consequences of our decisions today. Because I'm 85, I'm not going to be around in the year 2050. 
but those of you who are 20 or 30 or 40, you're going to be around in the year 2050, and you will see whether the world has succeeded in solving its problems. Um, it depends entirely on the choices now being made, being made by all of you listeners today and by everybody else in the world. The solution to the world's problems and your future depends upon you.